Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So today let's solve the problem minimum length of string after deleting similar ends. We're given a string s consisting of only three different characters and this actually isn't really super important for this problem. We're also given a algorithm here described in these five steps that we can perform on the input string s. The idea is that we can pick some prefix of the string where all characters of that prefix have to be the same. So for example, if we had a string like AABB, a prefix would be starting from the beginning of the string. And in our case, the prefix has to be the same character. So we can pick this or we can pick this, but we cannot pick this because there's two different characters there. And so there's a second rule for the suffix. Suffix is just from starting at the end of the string. And the same rule applies where the suffix has to have the exact same character in it. Now with a prefix and a suffix, the other rules are that first of all, they can't intersect. So they cannot be overlapping. Also the characters from both the prefix and the suffix must be the same. I think this is worded kind of ambiguously, but basically they mean that if we have two A's here or just th that we chose the character A here, we have to have the character A on this side as well. The quantity uh, does not have to be the same. We could have had, for example, two A's here and then maybe three A's over here. So this is this prefix that we chose. This is a suffix. And this is perfectly valid. But if we were to include a B in the suffix or the prefix, we cannot do that. After these are chosen, we just want to delete them. So the idea here is that we want to minimize the string S after performing an operation like this. And in order to do that, I think the first way I kind of approach this is think about what kind of decisions or choices we can actually make given these rules. And the interesting thing is that it's not as much as you would expect. Like we actually don't have many choices here because think about any example input string. For example, consider this string here. So, well, of course we want to start at both of the ends of the string because we're choosing prefixes as well as suffixes. And of course, the characters have to be the same, right? Like if there was an X over here and there's an A over here, we literally just can't do anything because we need to pick a prefix here and a prefix can be of a single character, but they have to be matching. Like we have to have the same character on both sides. Now, in this case, they are the exact same character. We have an A here and an A here. So the simple thing that we can do is just consider this the prefix, this the uh, suffix, and then we're done then we shift our pointer inward. Now we get to something interesting. We get to the part where we actually have a choice or you might think we have a choice. We have a B here and a B over here. You tell me, would we ever want to just pick a single B from both of the sides? Given that there are two Bs over here, we should try to be greedy. We should try to take as much as we possibly can because Right now, there's two Bs here and a single B here. Well, there could be 10 Bs over here and maybe a one B over here or two or three or four. However many there are, we can take as many from here and as many from here. So of course, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take all of them from each side. There's no point in saving any of them because we, if we take all of them, then we end up at the next character and that character has to match if the character does not match in both positions, then we can't really do anything anymore anyway. So that's why this is a greedy problem and this is how we're gonna approach it. Anytime we shift the pointer, the left pointer here and the right pointer here, we have to have matching characters and then we basically shift the pointer until we reach a new character. Same thing over here. We would shift it up until this point. This is basically a two pointer solution. And the only thing is when do we stop the algorithm? Well, in this case, we're gonna get both of these Bs and this B. Now we get to A on both sides. That's fine. Now we've uh, gotten the A as well. Now our pointer is gonna be at one character. Now, even though the character is the same, so this is very similar to like the palindrome algorithm kind of, but here is the difference. Even though this character is the same, we actually cannot remove it given these rules because remember the prefix and the suffix should not intersect. So basically, usually with palindromes and many two pointer solutions, we check that the left pointer is less than or equal to the right pointer. That's what we usually do. But in this case, we are gonna check that the left pointer is strictly less than the right pointer. So forget that equal sign. This is one possible way that the edge case could end up. Now, it's also possible that uh, maybe this C didn't even exist. So we got rid of the Bs here and here, even though 
there are two characters remaining. They are different characters. Like the left pointer is technically less than the right pointer. So this does work out. Okay, let's code it up. The time complexity, by the way, is linear. There is no extra data structures needed. So this is a constant space solution. So I'm going to initialize our pointers left and right at the ends of the string. So left is at zero, right is at the length of the string, minus one. And just like I mentioned, we are gonna continue while our left pointer is less than the right pointer. There actually is a second condition. We wanna make sure that the characters at each of the pointers are the same because otherwise we can't really continue the algorithm them and if they are then what we want to do is take the left pointer and shift it as much as we can so while well before we do that let's actually save the character in a temporary variable so we're going to save the character that both of these uh, point to in temp and while the character at the left pointer is equal to temp we are gonna increment our left pointer. We also wanna make sure that the left pointer has not crossed the right pointer. So here I think we are allowed to just put less than or equal. While it's at that character, let's keep shifting. And we're gonna do the exact same thing with the other pointer. So I'm actually just gonna copy and paste that. So while the right pointer is equal to temp, we're gonna take the right pointer and decrement it by one. And that's pretty much the whole code. So at the end, we just return what the size of the remaining portion of the string is. So basically the remaining portion of our window here. So we can take right minus left and add one. So this is the whole code. Let's run it to make sure that it works. And as you can see on the left, yes, it does. And it's pretty efficient, even though this time it was a little bit less than the first time I ran it. If you're preparing for coding interviews, check out neatcode.io. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.